pom pom pim 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 Vibe coding has been becoming more and more popular and no wonder why. With all these AI tools, most of the technical work is done by LLMs. So now coding feels more like artistry rather than purely technical work. Speaking of that, I want us to revisit Code LLM, the tool I have already briefly reviewed in the past. Today, I want us to focus specifically on what makes Code LLM one of the leading tools for vibe coders. If you want to follow along, there is a link in the description. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive deep. One of my previous videos, I explained how to install Code LLM. Just click on Code LLM, download the software on your computer and install it. In that same video, I showed you the basic features and how chat works. Again, find my older video in the description and watch it first before watching this one. In this video, I want us to go over the agent this feature. Unlike chat, which is designed to answer your code related questions, agent is built specifically for advanced work with code. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Let me start by showing you how it works. I'm going to pick Sonnet 3.7. I found this open source snake game on GitHub. I'm just going to copy the link. I want to use this code base, but also add some of my own modifications. Let's see if I can pull it off. This is my prompt, create a fork, and I'm including the GitHub link. Let's send the message, boom. All right, all right. So now the agent is creating a directory structure for our snake game fork. It generated the index HTML, I see style.css file. All right, all right. So now we have the snake JavaScript repository the main project structure is created with all necessary directories like the main directory an IMG folder for game images and an audio folder for sound effects we've got the core game files index.html style CSS and snake.js which includes the game logic like snake movement collision detection and sound the game is fully functional and we are about to test it now this is my snake javascript folder i'm going to i'm going to open index.html file in google chrome all right i don't see much on the screen and that's because i forgot to accept all the modifications all of the changes and i also forgot to save the files so i'm going to click on accept and Control s let's try to test it one more time I'm going to refresh the screen and I have my game. Look at this. All right, so this game looks cool, but I want it to feel more like me. I'll ask the agent to give it a bit of a shark vibe, if you know what I mean. All right, so here is my prompt. Enter. Now the game is being modified. We have a new file, shark.svg. We can see updates happening in the styles.css file. I'm going to accept all changes. I accepted all of the changes. Now let's save all of the files. Let's refresh the index.html and check out what we have on the screen. This looks a lot more like shark numbers. Now I want to show you something else. I'm going to click on Agent MCP Tool Settings, add new MCP server, and now we have the settings that json file code llm created a file called settings.json to store and manage the list of model servers mcps that we'll use inside our editor i don't need to do anything to use the built-in models featured via code llm but if i want to add my own local servers i can add it that file that settings.json file. In my case, I don't need to touch it. It's automatically created and ready. Let's go into style CSS and check out a few sections. As a Vibe coder, you don't need to write code manually. Just look at what 
each section stands for. Oh, look at this shark icons around the frame. Let's select that control I and here I can select what changes I want to be made. I can pick a particular model here. I'll stick to Sonnet 3.7. This is my prompt. Make shark decorations bigger and more advanced looking. Enter. The agent is working and it's all done. I'm going to click on accept and once again don't forget to save your changes. Control S. Now let's refresh our index.html file. Let's see what we've got. Look at this animation. Ooh, 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 ooh. The visual update looks clean. It's awesome how quickly we managed to transform the aesthetic. You know, I could keep going adding more advanced effects and features to the game by handpicking LLMs for each specific coding task. And what's incredible is that it's super easy. Anyone can do this without any prior coding knowledge, all for just $10 per Month. Yep. If you want to create something truly unique by making top LLMs like Sonnet, Gemini, DeepSeek, O1, and other popular models do the heavy lifting for you, Code LLM is a perfect tool for the job. The best part, unlike many competitors that charge extra for AI powered services, Code LLM is part of the Chat LLM subscription. Yes. So not only do you get access to Code LLM, which is already super competitive, but you also get get access to other premium tools like Operator, AI Engineer, and App LLM. Another cool tool that I reviewed before. Check the link in the description. Plus you get all of these utilities and access to all of these LLMs for just $10 a month. $10. I hope you enjoyed this overview. As always, I'm excited to read your comments. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out. Bye.